And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this brings us to the co-main event of the evening. Uh, please welcome, first, in the blue corner, Grayson uh, Wells. Now, for people who don't know the backstory to this fight, which is a rematch, Grayson Wells and Devin Beast met, uh, what, I believe it was the Havoc 6, and uh, you know, it was absolutely a horror show, is what it was. Uh, Devin Beast and uh, Grayson Wells did toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, you know, on the feet, on the ground, none, none, neither fighter giving an inch, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's most memorable, most remembered for, you know, basically both guys were covered in blood. You know, the, the, the promotional work for this fight said there will be blood too. Uh, you know, it basically earned its, its position at the top of the card by being an absolutely merciless blood and guts battle. And, you know, I'd like to think that most people are expecting a little bit of an improvement from both fighters here tonight. But I gotta be honest, I think you can expect more of the same. Uh, Devin Nice, this guy is uh, through and through, uh, an absolutely heartless brawler. He only comes for one reason, and that's to put his opponent away in, uh, in, in dominant and destructive fashion. And uh, Grayson Wells, he's a little bit more of a technician, but he's not afraid to throw either. He's proven he can take a punch from Nice. He's proven he can give one. Uh, you know, he's got some great Muay Thai, a little bit of ground skills. Uh, he had some excellent ground and pound, which he had a lot of success with in the first bout. And, uh, you know, I expect a lot more of the same. I expect this fight to go everywhere, every, everywhere and anywhere fast. It's going to be interesting to see, and again, uh, a very tough matchup here for the man that we're going to meet, Grayson Wells' opponent. We're going to meet him right now. And in the red corner, Devin Nees. Without a doubt, hometown favorite Devin Dryjammer Nees coming from Black Dragon Martial Arts, making his way to the Park Plant Sled in 18 prep point, past the final instructions, and into the rematch with Grayson Wells, you know, with absolutely one thing on his mind. I don't know the man, we haven't spoken, but he's coming in here to put Grayson Wells away. Very fit, Devin Neeson, and, and that's the thing that uh, sometimes you don't necessarily see in the 205 pound division, but with these two guys, they're very good athletes. You can see the build on both of them is excellent, and it's gonna be interesting to see if we do get a repeat of that bloodbath, or perhaps they try and keep it a little bit away. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, 230 pounds for Devin Neese. I'm sorry, this is mislabeled here on my program as a, a light heavyweight fight, but even still more impressive that uh, these guys are in such good shape. Six foot four for Grayson Wells, six foot one for Devin Neese. Everything else pretty much the same. That record for Devin Neese, extensive, but this was one of his toughest tests, even in a victory for Devin Neese. Absolutely, and uh, you know, unless Devin Neese decides to, to play it safe and somehow prolong his career by hanging back tonight and picking his shots, uh, you know, this is gonna be an absolute battle. That's, that's exactly how it was marketed, and that's exactly what I'm expecting. You know, Devin Neese is, is Central Alberta's answer to, to, to Chris Lieben, to Vandele Silva, to those kinds of fighters who lay it all on the line every second of every fight. And uh, you know, I love it. The fans love it, and uh, you know, I can't wait. So Devin Neese taking his final laps around the cage, a high five for his opponent on the way. Again, both of these guys expecting to come in here and put on a great show. And uh, that's just what the fans here in Red Deer are looking for, a great show from our co-main event. Again, our main event coming up right after this one, Malcolm Gordon taking on Austin Ryan for the flyweight title belt. Let's meet our fighters officially. We'll throw it in to Mr. Keith Crawford. And now, 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Uh, this fight is three five-minute rounds in the Havoc Fighting Championship Heavyweight Division uh, and is brought to you by Gasoline Alley Harley-Davidson. Uh, introducing first, in the blue corner, fighting out of Kelowna, British Columbia, representing Relentless Fight Team. He stands six foot four. He weighed in at 222.9 pounds. He has a professional record of zero wins, one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Grayson Wells. And his opponent fighting out of Red Deer, Alberta, representing Black Dragon. He stands six foot one. He went in at 230.1 pounds, has a professional record of five wins, four losses. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Devin Knees. The man in charge of the action when it starts inside the cage is Mr. Adam Cheadle. Okay, gentlemen, we've gone over the rules. You're fighting three five-minute rounds of the cold main event. Be my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Come on, ready to fight. Both fighters, despite their history, showing good sportsmanship. I gotta say, referee Adam Cheadle is going to earn his money here tonight, no doubt. Let the fist fly on this one. Devin Neese coming out composed in the early seconds. Eats a right hand. Grayson again, perhaps going to the well one too many times with that. Devin Neese clocking it early, coming in with a left. A sorry, a nice tight right hook. Looking for an overhand, an overhand left. But eating shots here from Grayson Wells. I think that's the and right Devin call. Devin Neese was absolutely out on his feet less than a minute into this fight. I think that's the right call. A lot of people here are going to be upset and they think it's an early stoppage. Those eyes were going in the back of Devin Neese's skull, and I think that's an excellent stoppage. And it all starts from the circling away and using the right hook as Devin Neese is uh, uh, approaching. So what was happening is Grayson Wells was circling away. Devin Neese was trying to stay with him, trying to square. And every time he stepped, he was being caught with a big right hook. And that is excellent boxing, straight up boxing from Grayson Wells. And as you can see there, Devin Neese doesn't look to be very upset about the stoppage. Uh, he was out and that was a good stoppage by our officials. Absolutely, uh, you know, <laughs> I concur. I mean, Devin Neese was taking nothing but shots there and it was only going to get worse. Uh, Grayson Wells looked great there. That was a different Grayson Wells than I had seen in, in, the, two fights, in the two fights for Havoc previously. Uh, you know, he, he was a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a square fighter, a little bit more a linear fighter, just coming forward with punches and kicks, keeping a nice tight guard, looking technical. But this was uh, obviously a much, much different approach. He knew he didn't want to be in the pocket with Devin Neese, and uh, he picked his shots, and it paid off for him. Well, there's another that right hook, and this is the first time that Devin Neese tried to shake it off, and you know he wasn't right. Ate another right hook, then here comes another. And now another, and this is an excellent stoppage by Adam Cheadle making sure to protect Devin Neese because Devin Neese was about to eat a very big shot. It looks like we're ready for the official decision, so we're gonna throw it up to Keith Crawford. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Adam Cheadle steps in at 33 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO in the blue corner, Grayson Wells. Inside the cage with Grayson Wells after your win. First of all, Grayson, uh, you came into this fight. Your footwork was unbelievable in the fight, moving around. Uh, great movement. You really controlled the fight from the very start to the end, and you caught him early and hard. Thank you. Yeah, I knew he was going to come out swinging, so I just I didn't want to get tangled up with him again. So I just thought, move around the ring, strike hard, circle left, southpaw, right? Now, you're in the win column now, one and one is a pro, but I saw your first pro fight, and you've completely changed with the way you move inside the cage and the way you're, obviously, the way you're striking. What's the difference? Uh, just, just training full time, right? And then just trying to think more, be more focused, and uh, just thinking about it nonstop, right? Well, you're going in the right direction. That's for darn sure. Sponsors? Uh, no sponsors. No sponsors. Wait. wait, wait. Oh, wait. Red Deer Catering. <laughs> Red Deer Catering. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner 
Grayson Wells.